So yeah, our map just has an ugly little block in the middle. Four minute blocks. No! Let's go! Yo, otherwise, I feel like this map turned out super good. How are you guys doing? It's Ace, and today I have something special for you guys. I've been trying to make this video for a while, and today I'm gonna be giving myself one hour to build the best 1v1 Fortnite map that I can. I'll be going through everything that I do, and hopefully, it just turns out really good. If you guys didn't know, most of our 1v1 maps takes hours to make, but today I'm gonna be trying to do it in one hour. It's gonna be a really tough challenge, but let's see if I could do it. And also, this would be like the tips and tricks videos for you guys because I'll be going through everything that goes through my head when building a 1v1 map. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Let's get on with the video. So I just started my timer one hour from right now. Let's see what happens. The first thing that I usually do when I start my 1v1 map, as usual, I just go to the Kevin Floating Island. As of right now, I don't have a single clue of what to do. I didn't even think of an idea to make, but I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see what comes up. So in one hour, I don't think I could do a lot of things that I usually do in my maps, like logos and stuff like that. But I feel like I could just make a really clean 1v1 map in one hour, which will be pretty easy and pretty good to you know see and stuff so i'm just gonna start with the platform right here so i just messed around for a couple of minutes and found the perfect light and fog setting for the map that i'm trying to go for so these are the settings that i'm using you guys could go and copy it if you guys want but basically what i'm gonna try to do is make an invisible 1v1 map i feel like i'll have a lot of time left over because it's not going to be that long to make an invisible map and most of you guys are probably don't know how to make it so it'll be useful for you guys too so if we just come to this gallery right here and pick this block, we could actually resize it and basically use it to build off of stuff. This is better than using a hover platform because you can't really see it and it just makes your map look cleaner. Next what we're gonna do is get the reflective gallery. We're going to be using these for the walls and the floors. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is start off by making the actual like ramp that is going to be used for the 1v1 map this is going to be one of the hardest part of the map it's not really that hard to do but it's just really annoying because you need to get all the measurements correct first thing we're going to do is place a ramp just like this for our wall after we put our ramps what we need now is the trick tiles we're basically going to be using these to make the floor and the ramp visible Right now what I'm doing is basically using an explosive device to make the detonators go off. What we're going to do now is basically use this device right here to hold ourselves up whenever we're one to one in. right now is basically put this material right on top of the ramp and the trick tiles what is this gonna do is basically make us walk whenever we start the game i'll show you what that looks like in couples as you see we're in our island right now and we could actually walk on the ramp obviously you can't see it but if you guys want you guys could literally just walk on it just like this as you see I'm walking on it right now. So this is basically the effect that we're trying to go for. It's basically an invisible one view map where people doesn't know where it starts from. It just gives it a really cool look. So what we're gonna do is go to this gallery right here and gonna be choosing either color you guys want. I'm gonna be choosing purple because I think it looks the best. So what I'm gonna do is basically put this right on top of the stairs. Now when I go to the 1v1 map, it looks just like this. It looks really clean in my opinion. I have to fix a little bit of the corner and just make it even. But this just looks a hundred times better than what we started with. Especially because it just gives it like a really cool look to it that people usually don't have in their 1v1 map. 
So right now, since we're done with that, what we're gonna do is make a max height teleporter. Most of you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial on this, but I'm just gonna be showing you guys in this video, and if more people keep on asking me, I might just do a whole video dedicated to this, but it is really simple to do, so just copy the settings that I'm using. Once we're done putting all of the settings right up there, what we're gonna do now is get the teleporter and put some special settings on the teleporter. Once we're done putting the setting on one of the teleporters, I'm just gonna be making copies and put like five other teleporters down. I just looked at the time and we have around 25 more minutes to go, so let's see if we could do this as fast as possible. So what we need to do now is basically add the low height reset or whatever we're gonna add in the low height. So right now, Fortnite's having a lot of glitches with the low height reset if you put it underwater. If you don't put it underwater, there's not like a lot of uh, bugs and stuff that goes around with it. But I'm just gonna try to see if it works. If it doesn't work, I can't really do anything about it right now. It's just Fortnite being really buggy. <laughs> So I decided not to go for a low height reset and just keep it a simple low height invisible barrier. So this is basically gonna do every single time we fall, we're just gonna, you know, just stay over here. We're not gonna fall down to the water. We're just gonna waste time. So I feel like this is better for this map, especially because it's an invisible map. It just gonna give us that cool effect. We only have about 15 minutes left and I just want to add some final touches to this map. So what we need to do now is basically make everything over here invisible and do the same thing we did for the wrap and just get the trick tiles and basically just do the same settings and it'll be easy. Once we're done with that, right now what we need to do is add the weapons, the most important part of a 1v1 map. So I already have all of my weapons right here. What I usually like to do is just keep them safe in an island and just copy and paste it whenever I need it. I did a tutorial on how to basically get all of these stuff over here, the outlines, the glows, and everything that you're gonna see. So if you guys wanna see that video, there will be a link in the description where you guys could just go and learn how to do this. We only have about five minutes left. I spent another 15 minutes fixing all of these because it got messed up, but we only have five minutes and we have some finishing touches to do. So I just restarted the game and I found out that this block right here that you can see right here, it like sticks out whenever you basically like look at it from above. We can't really fix that right now. If we, have, if we fix it, we need to get rid of everything, which we can't afford to do right now do have five minutes left so I don't I think it'll be nice if you add like a little like nebula stuff in the background where it'll just make it look really cool just like this but I feel like yeah this is it but let's just see how this map turns out whenever you start the game obviously you spawn up top then you get teleported down everything breaks and then you could choose if this actually came out really good oh no this part right here oh my god so yeah our map just has an ugly little block in the middle for no reason and what is this skin color let me change but let's just see if our weapon works yes all of our weapon does work and yep, all of our weapon works and everything i haven't tested out the max height reset i don't even know if that works but we're about to find out right now let's just build to max height and see what happens we're literally one block away from max height let's see if it works come on Oh yes, perfect. It does work. Max high reset does work. Low high reset. Well, obviously we didn't put one, but we just float on top of it. And the background that we use for this map really is good. Overall, I feel like we did a really good job on this map. It just looks really good. The only thing I would change is this right here. We just have a really bad, ugly block in the middle. Otherwise, I feel like this map turned out super good. Right now, what we're gonna do is see if any of our friends is on and see if we can one view open on this map. Oh no! Thank God he missed. Ooh, nice shot. <laughs> How did he miss that? What am I doing? I need to get out of here. No. Oh. Did I hit that? 
to the enemy section. One ten, one. Ah. No way. I hit that shot. Oh, I hit the second one. That was a nice shot. If he edits, I can kill him. No way. <laughs> I'm in his box. No! Let's go! <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna leave the video here. I did seem to go a little easy on me, but I feel like you just tried as hard as this. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys next time.